What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today I've got some unfortunate news for homebrew users, especially for those that were planning on using Arpone G to get homebrew on their 11.5 devices. Please keep watching. We're over on Mr. MBAO's Twitter account, and as you can see here, it is no longer possible to upload Arpone G to the RPG Maker servers. It seems as though anytime you upload this exploit from here on out, it will instantly be deleted. So it's possible that the exploit somehow has been flagged, and anytime it appears on the server, it is just automatically removed. This is unfortunate for users that haven't used Arpone G to gain access to the Homebrew Launcher yet, as now you are no longer going to be able to install Homebrew on 11.5 using Arpone G. Now, RPG Maker is still going to allow you to enter it and load Homebrew if you've already accessed it before. But currently, from here on out, all of the download codes are no longer going to be working for the exploit levels. As you can also see here, Mr. MBAO says that I guess it's safe to release the sources then. So over on 3dbrew.org, which I will put a link in the description to, we're going to go ahead and find out how Arpone G works. Over here on 3dbrew.org, and as you can see, RPG Maker Fez Player has its exploit a little bit mapped out here. Essentially, it is a buffer overflow on a .bss section, so when loading a project, the game copies multiple chunks over to the bsx section. However, the number of chunks to copy is not checked, thus a large amount of chunk results in a buffer overflow. There's multiple ways to exploit this flaw to gain an arbitrary men copy or an arbitrary jump. So, that is complete gibberish to me and I have absolutely no idea what that means. All I know is that you could, in the past, use RPG Maker Fez Player to access the homebrew launcher. It seems it has gone the way of Doodle Bomb, and it potentially didn't even last near as long as Doodle Bomb did. So, it's an absolute shame, but, you know... What can you expect when you have a program that somehow in the first place got a homebrew exploit uploaded onto the game's servers so that we could all download it? That is absolutely insane when you think about it, and uh, maybe a little bit of bow down to Mr. MBAO. Much love. I hope you guys enjoyed, even though I know you really didn't. Make sure you slam that thumbs up on the way out and subscribe for more if you haven't already. The next homebrew exploit that is coming out that we know of is known as Last Hacks, or you might know it as Flipnote Hacks or something of the sort. So make sure you've got Flipnote Studio 3D, and if you don't have it yet, I'll put a link in the description showing you how to get it so that you are prepared when it does get released. If any other homebrew exploits are in the works, you guys know I will make sure to tell you about it. Much love. Peace.